one of the more common things for us to do is convert somebody's standard tub space that they would have in their home now to a shower space that would be handicap accessible. So when we're designing a wheelchair accessible shower, um, some of the key elements and, and things to understand when you're doing that, first and foremost, is the, uh, is the client. Um, you, you have to understand what his capabilities are and what his limitations are. You know, there are several products we can use. Uh, choosing those products um, would kind of be dependent upon what those capabilities are. The things that need to be considered are ease of use. Um, where, where in the space is the shower going to go? Um, a lot of folks don't realize the, that doorways even have to be opened up. Um, you know, you don't want to do all the work inside the bathroom and find out that you can't widen the doorway because the hallway is too narrow or, or you have structural uh, beams or something in a wall that we can't move. Um, those are things that, that have to be considered when you're designing and, and, and trying to make a, a accessible bathroom. Some people who are in a wheelchair want to go into the shower area would actually require assistance uh, showering. So I have to make sure that now that shower is large enough for two people to be in there and have the products available to the person who's actually doing the assisting. And hopefully in a way that they're not having to get soaking wet while, while doing that. Obviously one of the key considerations is first the base because most showers have a base where you have to step over a curb and if you have a wheelchair obviously getting over the curb won't work. So in doing that there's some different systems that are available for wheelchair accessible showers. One is a, a barrier free entry base which has a slope where you kind of go up the slope of the base and then it kind of pivot that actually pitches down to a drain. And then there's another system that we offer that actually, it's a glass reinforced plastic base that goes down right on the subfloor. We can bury it inside of a floor, uh, modify the floor a little bit so that the tile and everything is a seamless, uh, barrier free, no bump, when you can roll somebody right into that shower. A lot of different situations that we can use it in. Uh, we can use it in a concrete base, we can use it in subfloor, like a wood traditional sub subfloor. As you're making the decisions about the ramping and the wall systems, then um, what you want to do is try and put together a shower that also looks good. Uh, not just being accessible, but actually looks good in the bathroom as well. Building a shower, there are many, many products that are being developed today by manufacturers so that we, we are putting together uh, a shower area that would be something you would expect to see in any home, would blend in with that home, and not necessarily be an institutional looking shower like you might find at a, a hospital. You know, we go everywhere from acrylic wall systems to central wall systems, um, solid surface wall systems, and uh, standard tile wall. Um, all of those are acceptable options uh, for an accessible shower. The other things that are important in a wheelchair accessible shower are things like the accessories that are in here, things like grab bars or safety bars. And Fortunately, in today's day and age, a safety bar does not need to look institutional at all. There's some really cool and decorative things that are available on the market, so that's another important factor. Another would be having slip-resistant products, so the type of tile you might use if it's a tile shower is important, or if it's the acrylic base, having a base that's not a slippery type of surface would be important in a wheelchair accessible shower. The other would be uh, literally where things like the niches are located, so if somebody needs to be in a seated position, you don't want the shower niches up really high, you want to have those niches usually down a little lower. Usually somebody in a wheelchair accessible shower or the wheelchair shower is going to often transfer from their chair into a seated position. So the type of bench seats in there can be very important or in some cases there could be a bench seat that's literally built in to the shower or there's fold down seats. So if you have not as much room, a fold down seat ends up being a great consideration. Another thing that's important in a wheelchair accessible shower is the type of 
shower head or way to get water to somebody. In a lot of cases, there's a handheld unit that's very helpful in a wheelchair accessible shower because you can take the shower head off of the uh, post and shower somebody. And what's kind of nice about that handheld shower is it also makes it really easy to go back in and clean the shower as well because it's it's basically on a hose and kind of easier to clean than with a with a stationary shower head. People that would typically be able to help me in assessing uh, the shower uh, required for a person uh, that would most cases be an occupational therapist. The benefit they provide us is this, they have more first-hand knowledge um, of, of what a client's capabilities are. Um, they also have more knowledge about what to expect in the future. Uh, if somebody has uh, limitations that are going to continue to get worse, uh, that occupational therapist would, would be able to provide that information to us so that not only do we build a shower they can use today, but they could uh, still be able to use that shower three years from now. There is also some funding available for people uh, through different sources. Um, if they're veterans, uh, they can do things through the Veterans Administration. Uh, there are grants available for certain projects. Uh, if they're just retired elderly people, uh, then they can work through their local groups that are for uh, the elderly in their communities to have possible funding available through for projects.